Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday and welcome back to a brand new series of Come Dine With Us. So myself and my good friends Kate McCabe and Luke Catlow are having a social distancing dinner party where we each take it in turns to do the dessert, the main course and the starter and you are the guests. In case you missed the first series I will link that down in the description box and the way this works is we each take it in turns to do the main course, the starter or the dessert and we thought we'd mix things up a little bit this time around so we're going to be doing a different theme every week we asked on Instagram and on the community tab what you guys would like to see in terms of a theme and a few of you have suggested using up things that we've already got in the home so that's what we're going to be doing for today so Kate's doing the starters let's head over to Norfolk to find out what she's been making hello I'm Kate and I'm gonna be making the starter and tonight I'm doing curry puffs or samosas, curry puff samosas, samosa curry puffs, I'm making those. And in South London, Luke is doing the main course. Let's find out what's on the menu. Hi guys, so my name is Luke and I am taking care of the main course this week. I'm gonna be making some form of pasta dish. It's gonna be a spicy fagola pasta, which is like an Italian style with lots of chili. And I'm gonna be making a very delicious sweet honey cocktail. And I'm going to be bringing you the dessert and I'll be honest with you, I have no idea yet what I'm going to be doing. So this should be an interesting interesting video but just in case you haven't watched them already do head over to Kate's video first and then Luke's I'll link those both in the description box and then come back here for your dessert and if you popped over from Kate or Luke's channels then hello it's great to see you here right I suppose we better get cracking first things first cheers everyone okay I actually have no idea where to start with this one but I do know a man who may be able to help me Hello. Hello, Uncle Carrington. Hello, lad. You all right? I'm trying to make a dessert with leftovers from the cupboards. Have you got any tips for me? Well, what you want to do, what I would suggest is you go searching high and low. Do it like you're at the car boot, lad. All right. Do a good scour. I'm searching Pick high. No item unturned. No item unturned, all right. <laughs> Ooh, any ideas what I should make? Oh, well, your options are endless. When I go through my hoard, I would pick out some basic ingredients. I'd be knocking up a tiramisu, right. a rhubarb crumble, okay. lemon meringue pie, key lime pie, right. spotted dick. Oi! Dick! Dick! I'm Carrington. You got those fosters I asked for? Alright, lad. And you can see me right. I'll sort you out there in the car boat once it's back on. You're right, Uncle Sam. Sorry, I spotted Dick. He's my mate from down the car boat. Of course he is. Right, anything else? Where was I? Jam rowdy powly, treacle tart. Oh, I love treacle tart. Yeah. Do you want more, lad? Mm, I think all right. Well, I've got to go because the chase is on in a minute. All right, nice to speak to Uncle Carrington. Boy, 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 boy. Bye, Uncle Carrington. I'm not sure how helpful that was. He gave us a lot of ideas, though, to be fair. So what did he say? We've got jam roly-poly. I don't know if he meant spotted dick or he just spotted his mate dick from down the car boot sale. We've got bread and butter pudding. That's a classic, but I don't have any bread. Mm. I'm going to keep doing what he suggested, scour high and low like we're at the car boot sale, I'll pull out a load of ingredients and then we'll see where we can go from there. Okay, so I've had a really good rummage in the cupboard. So let's see some of the things that I've managed to pull out. So we've got some lime juice, white chocolate, bananas, fruit cocktail, condensed milk. We have coffee, we have icing sugar, double cream. We have drinking chocolate. We have a lemon, digestive biscuits, some chocolate fried eggs, some paper cases. We have a blue ribbon, Fox's triple. We have almonds, salted butter, a couple of eggs, some frozen raspberries and some frozen blackberries. What on earth am I going to do with all of this? Feel free to leave me some suggestions as to what you would make. So I'm going to start off with the jelly. I feel like you can't go wrong with jelly. So we'll start off with this. And it says to break the cubes up and add half a pint of boiling water. Now 
Now while that's dissolving, I've got some fruit cocktail here in grape juice. So I'm gonna strain that off. And because we are using things up today, I'm going to keep the grape juice. See if we can do something with that. And I've just found this bottle of sweet vermouth that was sent to me by a company called Discarded. And this is actually made from natural cascara berries. So I'm gonna add a little splash of this just to give it a little bit of extra flavor and give our jelly a grown up touch. Ooh. So I've topped that up with cold water. So I thought it'd be nice to make these in little glasses. So I'm going to add a couple of frozen raspberries. Throw a blackberry in there as well. And you can do as many of those as you wish. Super easy to serve in these. And we'll pop those in the fridge to have a little chillax. Next up, I thought we would make some caramel. So I've just had a quick Google and I found that you can make some caramel using condensed milk and some brown sugar, which I've just found at the back of the cupboard and some butter. So it says to use a cup of this, a can of that, half a cup of that. So I'm going to melt the butter in a pan that's just on a low heat and we will add some brown sugar as well. Maybe squeeze all that out. I think that'll do. Not a fan of using a tin opener. So once all the butter's melted, we're going to add the condensed milk, which I can't get the lid off properly because my tin opener's rubbish. So now we're going to stir in the condensed milk. Ooh, it's getting quite thick. Mm! Okay, that's hot. So I think I'm gonna leave that there not sure if that's the correct consistency, but it tastes yummy, so that will do. And then what I'm going to do for a base, this is gonna be like a banoffee banana situation. So I'm just gonna add some digestive biscuits and crush those up. And then I thought I'd stick to the putting things in a glass theme. So I've got this one that came from a charity shop. I think this was actually Anthropology originally. And I thought this would be perfect to stack up our banana, emergency banana surprise, we'll call it. I don't actually know what the surprise is going to be yet, but let's start with a spoonful of biscuit. And then I thought we could just create some layers. Then we can add some of the caramel. And then all I'm going to do is add some whipped cream and some almonds to serve and also the surprise. So while those are chilling, I thought we'd have a go at doing a little upcycle for our table setting with this being a using up things that we already have kind of video. So I've got some bottles soaking in some soapy water and I just want to um, remove all the labels of these. Getting labels off is fun, said no one ever. And then once you've taken the labels off, you can just add whichever flowers you fancy. And I've just put them onto the table and I think they look fab all together like that. Okay, so now that that is all done, I'm gonna head outside to relax in the garden, do a spot of reading, and then I'll get changed into something a bit more appropriate. Yeah, we keep on dancing to the beat. And we keep on moving our feet. So I'm just whipping up some double cream, just to make this nice and thick. And I'm gonna use this to top the emergency banana surprise. So the jelly has now set, and I think that looks really nice with all the fruits in it. So I'm just going to add a blackberry and a raspberry from the freezer. And then just as a little garnish, I'm going to add the fresh mint that I picked out in the garden and the lavender. And then onto the emergency banana surprise, I'm going to add 
some whipped cream, a sprinkle of almonds, and the surprise, which is a chocolate fried egg. And next up for our drink this evening, I'm going to add some ice into the grape juice. Get that chilling nicely. And then I'm gonna go in with a splash of gin and a drop of this Monin Mint Syrup that was a present from Luke. Thank you, Luke. There we go. Okay, so here we are. Thank you for joining me on another week and for dessert. I hope you enjoyed your starters and your mains earlier on. So, it is time for us to dig in. Let's see what these are like. I think I might start with a little sip of our welcome cocktail. So we have the grape juice, gin, and mint syrup. Ooh, that's very light, even though I put a decent slug of gin in there. <laughs> nice, the sugar in the syrup really complements the gin. And then you've got a nice bit of mint going on. I should have picked some mint to pop in there as well, actually. So next time I'll be sure to do that. So cheers, everyone. So we'll taste the surprise, which is, of course, the fried egg. Well, that's delicious. I feel like you can't go wrong with an M&S chocolate fried egg. Let's dig in. So we have the different layers going on here. We have the banana, the biscuit, the cream, and the nuts. It's basically like a banoffee pie, but a lot easier to make. I think the combination of the caramel, the crunch of the biscuits, the cream, a bit of crunch with the nuts, and then the sweetness of those bananas that were just starting to get nice and ripe, bang on. Oh, it actually reminds me of one of those pops that you get in M&S. You know those naughty ones? I highly recommend that. It was so easy to make as well. Okay, moving on to the jelly. So first of all, I think that is looking fab. It looks so summery, which I absolutely love. Hope you enjoy the garnish as well. I'm not sure I'll be eating that, but it looks pretty. So let's dig in. I mean, this is just like a nice fruity jelly. <laughs> There's not much more to say about it. You could add some cream to it if you like. That as well. It's delicious. I'm pleased with those. You've got a couple of options here. You've got a slightly sort of lighter one, maybe a bit less calorific. You've got a really naughty banana surprise with fried egg. <laughs> so let me know what you thought of the desserts that I knocked up with things that I had already in the cupboards and in the freezer. Let me know as well what you would have done with those ingredients that I had out on the counter. Was there any ideas that sprang to mind for you? And yeah, just let me know how you think I got on overall. Feel free to leave me a little score out of 10 if you would like to. And just in case you haven't watched these in order, do make sure you head over to Kate and Luke's channels where they have made the starter and the main course as well and we'll see how they got on too. If you've come over from Kate and Luke's channel, it is great to see you here. Do subscribe if you are new and give this video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Thank you so much for joining us again for Come Dine With Us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous weekend and I will see you soon. Bye. Have you looked at the poll of who's won? No. <laughs> Who's the winner? You then? You would join me to tell you. Should I announce on the pod? Have you got a like, Yeah, yeah. I'm recording. Can you do it like the man in Come Dine With Me? Yeah. And the scores are in. You and his astronomically smashed it out in the park. <laughs> Hundred, six hundred and thirty-nine votes. How hang on, yeah. how many have you got? I got three hundred and No. Yeah, yeah, and Kate got a hundred and... <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's not, it's not, it's not fair! Which I actually get the, the full on scores Ooh. on my board. It's so unfair. Oh, that sounds like a fix. I think Uncle Carrington's done something dodgy with his car boot sale association. I'm grateful for those 100. Good. Thank Good. you. You and you, you, you win. How much you get on come down with these? A thousand pounds? A thousand pounds. Oh, pounds. yeah. Oh. That'll do. Get the, Get the platter out. <laughs>